you folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Communist Yugoslavia. In between episodes here, what I did is I uh, went through and tried to do as much of an accounting as possible of our bits and bobs and rearrange and trim our production lines uh, so that we could put a little bit more emphasis on our air stuff. I've also gone and done a few tweaks to our division designs. For example, I've rolled out rocket artillery over here. Not all of our divisions have actually been swapped over to the rocket artillery variant, although almost all of them have. Uh, we had just enough in the bank to do that. I was actually only going to do one of the two artillery, switch them over to rocket artillery. But as it turned out, we had basically enough for both of them. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. We lost like a microscopic amount of hard attack and gained a lot more soft attack. And I think that's going to be okay because most of what we're fighting is leg infantry. And that mostly means soft damage is all we need. Uh, also made another update to our heavy tank division here. Being able to roll out the modern self-propelled artillery. And in fact, we're using only modern tanks in, uh, in the heavy tank divisions here. And obviously our mechanized infantry as well. So that they've got some amount of organization here. But there we go. I mean, maybe the balance should be shifted over to like even more tanks than infantry but for now we're going to go with this it does it's not like we don't have a ton of attack and a ton of breakthrough so uh, i i feel like this is probably going to be fine the modern tanks are um, are pretty good i think so i'm very happy about that switch over that's going to be a-okay uh so yeah what i did is i i did rearrange some of the uh, the construction queue again I, I made sure that we were um i mean i'll leave these at the top and we're about to get a bunch of rubber so maybe i don't need the synthetic factories but screw it i'm going to build them anyway uh ma just making sure that all the things that we're going to be bothering to repair are places uh where there is no unrest and yeah in the production queue so I've scaled back a little bit on uh, some of the infantry type divisions because we're actually ending up in a pretty good place over there. We didn't need, for example, two mechanized lines either. Um, we've really caught up a lot. I would still like to bank a little bit more um, rocket artillery because we don't have a huge surplus of it. Um, I know this number here, it's misleading. We don't, it's just because things haven't deployed yet. Um, because I did it all while the game is paused. We're not actually short 4,000 units of rocket artillery, unless the uh, the numbers when I was switching the divisions over was lying to me, but it looked like we were basically at a kind of a break-even spot. Um, so we'll see what happens when we unpause, but it sh we should not actually be short 4,000. I think they just haven't been deployed. Uh, so we've got the second line of rocket artillery here, although it's mostly using um, non-existent factories or damaged factories over here. The big thing is that uh, we have cleared up a lot of functional factories for our airplane lines, as well as freed up a little bit of rubber. I don't actually want the transport planes at the top. I think something got clicked and moved up there. Um, the transport planes, I know at the last video it said like it wasn't producing any, but that was just because of a stack of negative modifiers and not having enough resources, but also having low efficiency. It was going to start producing transport planes soon. What the hell, we'll leave it at the top. Um, we can always like build up a bunch and then decide to, to trim it back a little bit later, and that's going to be okay. I mean, I do want a good number of transport planes to be able to land a lot of troops simultaneously, but we don't need unlimited amounts. Um, ships, we are still building our destroyers. They're sitting over here. We still don't have enough to really um, start moving them out. It's still just destroyers three. We're about to unlock destroyers four soon. We might want to go on a dockyard building spree, but mm, I don't know about that. The other thing too is I think once we sort of box Siam and maybe India over here, I'm like, I think that's what all the Soviet troops have been busy doing. They've just been sort of stuck here and being confused because of lack of supply and different stuff like that. Um, so hopefully once we sort of finish this off, these troops will actually start doing something useful. Although at this point, it's like, I can't imagine what that would be. You know what would have been useful? Fighting Germany. But I guess that's happened at this point. So I don't know. I mean, I guess at this point, if something useful would just be like, hey, how about you garrison Japan? You freak. All right. I guess with that, we'll go ahead and unpause. And hopefully the lag is better, but oh, it's still pretty chunky. This is, this is a new day. I've rebooted my computer, reloaded the game. So obviously it's not a memory leak situation. Look, like that stutter, that's not part of the recording. That's, that's the game. Ah, so disappointing. And we're smashing face here pretty well. Uh, we've got a lot of direct... Um, assaults on Indian victory positions, victory points over here. So hopefully we can get them to capitulate soon. That would be lovely. Some attack here is being stalled out. So I'm just going to tell you to halt right now. Do you even have an offensive line? Oh, yeah, down here. We do. Um, which I guess is fine. This has been split now, which is going to lead to some confusion in the auto-pathing AI, but it's hardly a problem. And yeah, you're just going to keep walking down the coast. Although, that's the last naval base here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it looks like it. 
So that's always nice to see, and you are going to do that, and I'll get you to just walk up this coast again. Although there aren't really any naval bases here for us to cut off and claim. But if we can make the run up to Calcutta, that would be pretty good. Most of our troops are settled down here. You're moving up as well? Yeah, yeah, good. All right, excellent. So that's going to keep going. Um, in Africa, I did tell them to pause for a second here just because I did make a bunch of changes to the divisions and I want to make sure to give them time so that they could get the resources. We actually do have some actual resource shortages here and a good number of people looking to stop us. I don't suppose you can take... Is that... Oh, that's all one province here. Mm. So it's always nice to grab little victory points because you can get some, um, some supply trickle out of that. Um, it's probably not even worth continuing to push here. Or something. I mean, it's probably never been worth pushing, but I kind of wanted something to do. It was mostly about, like, how can I entertain myself? Derp, 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 derp. Um, if I should do anything, it should be declare war in Libya and go across the north and just claim some more oil supplies. But uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll just embiggen the front here so that our units can spread out and actually have, um, you know, maybe a little bit more of a supply run. We'll do something like that. And again, this is Africa. I'm going to tell you guys to halt, and then you'll redistribute yourselves across this front, and hopefully not be so out of supply. And you can just hold that for now, and we'll, we'll not worry about it. At least attrition, uh, as we found out, doesn't actually burn manpower, apparently. It does burn um, Southwest Africa. Oh, we need some air spirit there, too. That's the thing I didn't check between episodes, because it's been a few days since I recorded. I don't remember what our air situation is. Uh, air. We've got... Okay, we've got some... We've got many rocket sites now. Uh, you are down here. Are you still helping in a place that matters? I guess so. This is we've got no air superiority over here actually. I don't suppose we've got any idle uh, fighters, do we? One carrier fighter. Okay, that's not really going to count. Um, I guess we won't stress about it too too much. What's the hotkey for that L? Okay. And over here, same thing. We've got ground support. Uh, but no actual fighters. We don't have air superiority. It's... Oh, we're actually starting to fly over southern England. Oh, right, because we're starting to do some bombing runs over here. What are things looking like? 300 fighters. Most likely that's not, you know, the path to success. We're bombing... Are we bombing day and night? I don't know if we want to do that. We've only got our fighters running at night, so you should actually be only on night bombing missions. First of all, yeah. So we still don't have the critical mass, and then we've got the uh, the uh, the rockets going in there. What else was there? Northern France. Yeah, we really don't have a ton of fighters, which is one of the reasons I'm wondering if it makes sense to have the uh, the transports up top. But we will need them. So what the hell? Get started. Um, and uh, some people did mention, yeah, we are exporting a lot of resources. But if I change my export laws, then I don't know. I don't like it because it's like you get penalties to research and things like that. Where's our trade laws over here, right? If we went to like limited exports, like if you compare, you actually get less factory output, you get slower construction speed, and you lose a bunch of your discount to research time. So um, this is this is going to be okay. And I mean, primarily we're just exporting to our buddies anyway, right? So they're the ones that are going to get the resources, and it's hardly the end of the world. Uh, more, like, big naval invasion warnings. Again, we don't know if they're, like, real naval invasions or if they're going to happen in, like, a million years. Um, oh, they are landing here in northern France. So we'll just go and throw in some generic bodies over here. Do we actually have a destroyer? Oh, did it get kicked out? Hang on. You should park there as your base. I don't know if you'll redirect yourself or not, but we'll try. It's only one Canadian troops. These Canadians, man, they're they're pretty. Oops, I didn't mean to dismiss your thing. Oh, do you not actually have an active mission? Uh, that's probably what we weren't what we weren't actually bombing with these guys. Um, you know what? We'll turn it on. We'll say naval strikes, port strikes. These are close air support, but they can still do those things. And port strikes are particularly dangerous and devastating. You can kill a lot of ships. Or, and or keep them pinned in forever to ports with port strikes. Now, we are throwing more hit points into this, so that's good. I don't know if I should send another... It looks like we're going to defend it. Yeah, that's going to be okay. It always looks bad at first because this marker, I believe, is based on relative hit points. Or rather, I should probably say relative organization. Um, 
and we start with less of that because we've got a very thin division, but the stats, the combat stats are well in our favor and therefore things tend to go well. Uh, so we're going to have supply problems in Burma. That's not a, really a surprise. Um, oh, were you actually falling back? You might have been on a right-click duty to like just go crazy. So it's okay if you fall back temporarily, as long as there's not a weird overrun that happens somewhere along the way. Looks... I mean, you're fine, right? You didn't... Yeah, you're there. Okay. The, the tag for it went away. I don't know where it's hidden. It's like poking behind something. But yeah, it's going to be alright. Uh, so pushing into these tight confines are a little bit risky. We could do some sort of naval thing, although we don't actually have boat control over things. So that doesn't look particularly good. Most likely, as we get the forces to actually get here and, and coordinate a little bit together, although we're getting attritioned a lot, we should have pretty strong forces here. They're, they're set to pretty aggressive mode, so they're attacking without full organization. But yeah, it looks like we're going to push through just A-OK. -okay. How's India going? Because that one is going to be really valuable for us to pick up. So there's no lag when I'm paused. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to encourage you to go, like, quite aggressively here. I'm going to take that airfield as well. That's going to be fine. And you just make a run that way. With great haste, please. And you, make sure you get a cutoff over there. That's going to be fine. Um, I'm going to encourage you to make the run to Calcutta as well, as quickly as possible. Everyone go to Calcutta. If we can get India to capitulate, that will... I actually don't know. Like, where are the Indian troops? There there, there. Also, like, why aren't the Soviet troops marching forward? I realize you're low on supply, but just walk into India. There's no one there. Something happened to the AI that it really doesn't like to attack if there's no troops there. We saw that for ages. Ooh, that's handy. We saw that for ages in Japan, right? Where we pulled back from our actual border, moved back to here, and the Japanese forces just stood on the undefended border forever and ever and ever. And I don't remember that being a thing before. I don't know. Anyway, we finished off our destroyers over here. We're still working on our super heavy battleship next rank over there. Um, advanced landing crafts are being developed. That's great. Probably we want better sub detection is probably a good idea here to throw in um, to make our destroyers actually be useful for something. And yes, indeed, we are producing outdated destroyers. I'm going to get them to finish their current one. Although this one's you know what, this one's barely got anything put in, so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that one outright um, and say it's fine to do that. You can't actually, like, do the upgrade from one to the other. It resets the production regardless. At least last time I checked. For all I know, I just, you know, lost a microscopic amount of production, but I don't think so. Uh, keep getting ready to deploy over there. I'll also set up an extra one over here so that when that destroyer, we get another one that starts. Um, hang on. Do we want to... Spend some naval experience. We don't have a ton on destroyers. Well, I think we'll actually save it for the super battleship. That's going to be okay. All right, so keep going there. We could decide to cut back or even cancel our convoy protection, but I, I and we do have a good number right now, but that can go away really fast if they start getting blown up and as we start more overseas crap. Um, did my divisions over here just get blown up completely? Did they fight until they literally ran out of hit points? I don't understand these things. All right, you, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I mean, there were only um, garrison types, so it doesn't really matter that much, but what the hell? So we're actually out of anti-tank. You see here, we're not actually out of rocket artillery. Like, like I was pretty sure about that. We are actually out of anti-tank. And burning through them quickly, I, that's probably from existing um, reinforcement lines. Oh, God, this is so slow when it's not paused. We do have an anti-tank here. Yeah, I guess we're going to go and expand that to a full thing. And I think it's only support divisions. I think that's the only anti-tank stuff we're doing. What else is outdated? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. We're, we're still producing the Destroyer 3, but that's okay. It's going to be done soon. All right. Meanwhile, over here, you guys are just still shuffling about. I'm going to tell you, you can start your attack whenever. Oh, it looks like they'll actually have some relative success here. I don't like the fact that you're doing a strategic redeployment here. Can I get you to just halt and... Are you going to do a normal movement? Okay, it looks like you're going to go back to doing a normal movement. Good. I don't like it when they're walking along the edge of some enemies as strategic redeployment. That's going to be a failed attack there, but oh well. 
Um, how is our... We, there was a little invasion over here. Okay, that got bopped. The Euro Response Squad dealt with that just fine. The one in the north is gone. Okay, I'll get you to just, like, shuffle into the... I don't know. Always Paris because it's a good source of um, rebellion. So we'll just stick a whole bunch of group guys in there. Everything here is fine. All right. Again, at this point, I think the Indian front is the one I'm probably the most interested in. Okay. Make sure to bop that guy. Sin Kiang. They're the ones that seem to know what they're doing on the common term side. They're all over the place. They're being very active. They're being a lot more active than the Soviets are. I think that was a landing. I think we had that. So I think they've landed some forces there. Um, change of mind. You guys go and smash that. That's probably a ridiculous amount of overkill, but I'm okay with that. If it doesn't work, we'll have to actually build up a front and everything over there, but I, I think it's going to be okay. So there's not much of an advantage, actually, of grabbing more territory over here. And one of the things I should do is probably discourage them from actually trying to maintain these fronts because it will just confuse the AI um, and if anything I want all the divisions assigned here I think if I control click it might cause them to redo their controls I'm not sure so we're being warned about invasions everywhere again whether or not these invasions are actually happening it, it's so and other people in the comments have like said that, yeah, it's it's kind of annoying. Like, you get these warnings about inv invasions, and, like, almost 90% of the time, they're nothing. They're just distraction. And then the last 10% of the time, you're like, whoa, where did all these guys come from? Very, very annoying. It's like the boy who cried wolf. So how's the uh, Arizona over here? I mean, we still have fighter inferiority. But... Losses are really not particularly meaningful, which is odd here. I don't know what, like, there are very few numbers that appear to be being lost. Unless I'm, you know, misreading something. But it looks like we've lost a plane. Was this saying our average agility is higher? And average speed is higher? In which case, that would be quite good. So there's some anti-air shooting on rockets, but that's all right. Um, any other info? It has not confirming about buildings being shot down or anything. That's too bad. We actually have... Um, 90% efficiency. We have 41% detection, which is higher than their detection. Which is kind of impressive, because it's over their own damn land. But clearly they haven't radared like crazy. Um, whereas I have a lot of radar. Let's go ahead and get... Um, here, just you. Just a pair of tanks. Go over there, just in case this turns out badly. I think this might be a second invasion. Mm, maybe it's the same. This one has no orc. It's hard to tell if it's the same one, or if they were sending extra dudes that just didn't arrive at all the same time? I'm not sure. You have no commands anymore. So you're just going to do this to clean that up. Um, you... Well, we can assign you all to that front, and you'll get there automatically, but I'm going to make sure that one of you is explicitly walking through that territory before you do that. Um, the other one of you is going to explicitly just go and clear that. Please and thank you. You guys are still heading over there. I'll tell you what, I'll do the thing where I assign you to the front, but then I'm going to tell you to keep moving in that direction. That's going to be fine. You are going to see... If you can clear out these guys. Oh, someone's already doing that. Excellent. Oh, yeah, add to the front and... Do that. Add to the front, but keep that movement going. Thank you. And you are still attempting to head over to Calcutta, which is currently working. I mean, you have no attrition, blah, 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 blah. But I don't think there's going to be a heck of a lot. There might be some units sitting still in Calcutta. That's entirely possible. If we take a look at India. You still have a fair amount of unity. It's actually really impressive. Dangerous invasion over here. Yeah, that's actually happening. Which is kind of fine, actually. Again, I, if it was even a larger one, I'd, I'd kind of be okay with it, because there's a bigger chance that we can do a surround and bop somewhere along the way. We've got the ability to change our, our laws for something, but again, I'm not going to go to a more aggressive conscription law. I, I really don't think I want to change my trade. The war economy is where we want to be. I guess we can take um, a naval thing. 
we're not going to be doing convoy raiding, so we'll take the decisive battle. I mean, we might do some, but I don't think it's the critical part of our thing. God damn, this is so slow and laggy. This is this has gotten unfun. Maybe maybe when we deal, we finish dealing with like India and Southeast Asia. Maybe because I suspect it's like a pathfinding thing. Maybe suddenly it's going to simplify a lot of unit pathing, um, which is having a hard time right now, and that magically all of a sudden things are going to be better. I really would like to see if we can poke around here and just cut these guys off. I mean, I don't think we can actually take the city first, but we can get a nice surround on them. I mean, we are advancing on a, on a lot of fronts, so it looks like we're going to be okay. You guys are just moving instead of helping out there, but that's going to fall as well, so that's okay. Do, do, do. Manpower keeps fluctuating wildly. I think it's just based on uh, resistance in a lot of territory that we've got, because that's where a lot of our manpower is coming. So yeah, we've got like a million naval invasion warnings. But again, are they a thing? I don't know. Oh, this is a thing right over here. Do we have any units around that can deal with this little Canadian pocket? I'm not sure that we do. Alright, you've gone and done that. Uh... Yeah, you two, I'm going to make you into a new group. Sure, you can have a general. And while two's not actually going to be enough to contain them, we're going to get some units over here. So strategically redeploy to here, and then get into position afterwards, and we'll see what we can do. It's all chunky laggy. All right, so they do have some units in Calcutta. So you're going to go and just do this. Um, the Indian attack, we're going to go and specify that your offensive line actually will be to push to something like this, uh, which is apparently going to be somewhat broken because Sin Kang has some territory there, although those units got cut off. Uh, you've already got the command to go, which is probably fine. Although it'll sure as heck make a lot more sense if we had sort of a little bit of a thicker territory over here. Maybe I'll tell you not to go. That's going to be fine. And instead, I'll also draw the front line a little bit more narrow over here, and that's going to be okay. This is Portuguese territory. Yep, so we don't have to worry about that. We've got everything in the south. Lovely. As far as I know, everyone has been assigned here. Let's take a look. We've got 15 divisions, 10, 14. So there's one that's not... Oh, it's actually this one over here is not actually assigned to a front. But now you are. That's going to be fine. So yeah, we'll just get someone to clear this area out. I guess you're standing still. Like, just, just finish this. It's going to be okay. And likewise with you. And it should come here and then just widen this front a little bit to this river. Thank you. Alright, so we got troops that are going back there. It looks like the Soviets are responding to this Canadian invasion. Just one division with no organization. You could go and bop them right away. Just, just, just right-click. Just select... Right click. That's all you have to do. It's really easy. God damn it. Any any invasions in territory we actually care about here? Uh, that little guy there, but that's not actually a problem. Actually, we can even just cut off that port right away. Military police is going to take care of that. So we'll isolate these Canadian troops, and then we can bop them later on. These tanks are good, so we'll just send you somewhere over here. I don't know. Near one of the victory points. Keep some of the um, the rebellion down. We should actually take a look at the rebellion map mode. Look at that! Very little going on. Um, are we covering Vienna with our t -t 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 giant police force? Uh, hold on a sec. Did I accidentally... You're not garrisoning. Yes, you are. How come I can't see the... Because minimum division 77. The, there's clearly some garrison commands. I'm, oh, I'm in the wrong map mode. Right. It would be nice to be able to see both at the same time. So garrison area. Yeah, you are supposed to cover Vienna. That's okay. Um, I guess you're... Res Let me just give a halt command to the, uh, the MPs. Except for you. You're going to go there. Cheers. Okay. Can you actually see the rockets? I see a lot of planes. I don't know if you can actually see the rockets. I thought I saw one for a second, but it was just a shadow from a plane. I don't know. 
Average agility and speed is higher, air defense is lower than their attack, but speed and agility tends to dominate for these sorts of things, so I think we'll be okay. I don't know. Keep it up. We keep producing jet fighters. I mean, we don't have enough yet to dominate. And we're trying to accrue our transport planes. At least this efficiency going up is going to make a big difference. I, want, I'm, I think I'm going to stop messing with this queue quite as much. Mostly just need a whole lot of rubber and different things. See, is it actually using this stuff? I get, in, despite being producing nothing? I guess it is, but it's so low in the queue that if something else needed it, it would be using it. So I guess it's okay. Hey, we can start building nuclear reactors! Hooray! Alright, let, let's just do it. Just because, you know, whatever. What is it? T? Where's nuclear reactors? I know it's going to take forever to do anything. I don't care. We're going to go... Um, looking for a relatively high infrastructure. I'm seeing a lot of 70s. Oh, there's a 90 over there. Um, so what is it? Control click to put it at the top of the queue. And Franken, I mean, I know... Ooh, that's a little bit risky because I might not get to keep it and there might be resistance. You know what? Cancel the one, Franken. Uh, there's an 80 over here. There we go. Let's queue you up. There we go. All right. Um, do we actually want those on top? Mm. I mean, if we're going to do them, we want them to get built. Screw it. It's fine. I'll leave them at the top of the queue. Uh, Japan. Okay, so I'm curious with these forces. If I told you to go, would you be able to take that? Excellent. That's good, because that'll be another very convenient naval base. We deny them a naval base as well, which might screw up their supply. I mean, they're going to get a trickle from back here, but it's not going to be that significant. Oh my god, that's so laggy! Everything sucks! Anything I can do here manually to, like, get better results? I'm looking for a weak spot. Like, I don't suppose you guys can attack into there. They're already in multiple combats and nil. This jungle and lack of supply is really ungood. Um, it'd be great if we could cut off some of these guys, though. Don't be quite so aggro. Actually, go through a C-zone. Yeah, let's focus on, on moving sideways instead. It's gonna be alright. And let's get you to just stop your auto attacks at this point. Store up some actual organization or some some prep, and then we'll go. We'll we'll head east. That's gonna be okay. India. Oh, uh, did my troops get here yet to repel the Canadian? Singular. Answer is no. Over here. Did we take Calcutta? No, no. Calcutta's still there. Okay, but we are spreading around here, which is gonna be okay. We're gonna go and trim this front line. Really encourage. Um. Okay, there we go. That's slightly annoying. We got a ton of messages about naval invasion. We have no idea if any of them are true. Uh, looks like they re-landed over here. But aren't going to be able to push against Sinkiang yet. Hopefully Sinkiang will retake this. I don't know if they will. They've got control over India. So I think that's one of the reasons that they're really encouraged to move their troops here. And I'm totally okay with them babysitting that. Alright, you finally arrived. Where the hell are you going? Oh, you're still moving forward. I just got confused about which infantry I was looking at. You're going to do that as quickly as possible to try to do a cutoff. Oh my god, there's lag. It's it's honestly ruining the game for me. It's making this unfun. Aww. Why has it got to be like that? Again, I'm really hoping that maybe if things develop in, in Southeast Asia, it'll, it'll simplify the pathfinding. I don't know if any of that is going to be true. It'd be great to take these little islands to deny them some naval bases too. Although they still have the you know the whole north coast of Africa, so I don't think it's really gonna make much of a change. Speaking of you guys, have you made any real progress? Uh, you've made this move, which is interest. What the hell? I must have had you accidentally selected when I was. Um, moving some troops to, like, my European Defense Squad? Oh, wait. You're part of the Euro Defense Squad. 
I must have done an accidental right click. Uh, change your mind, you are going to be rejoining the Africa Corps. Thank you. Although I appreciate the punch you've done through. If we do this, we can cut off all these bad boys. Yeah, they will be isolated and then we can uh, grind them down. And I think there's going to be a lot of value in doing that. What the heck, right? Uh, we did push here. We took that port and everything like that. That's good. We're holding here. We've got the airfield over here. Do we have any more um, just close air support planes? A little bit. Go out there. Close air support. Normal. Day and night, that's fine. We're not expecting there to be much air opposition, so it should actually be quite handy dandy. That's the other thing in Siam. We should really set up an air presence there. Um, when I'm ready to hit the, the play button over there again, we'll, we'll see about that. We might even go ahead and disband some of the other air wings and just transfer them to Siam for a final push. Um, you have done very well, and I appreciate that. I'm going to get you to cross the river and come down here and see if we can't do a little surround of Calcutta, which will make that attack a little bit easier, because attacking into urban centers is always very tricksy. But if you get a surround, while they'll still have supply you're going to get a massive bonus to the attack. I mean, we have pushed a bunch into Africa this ep or India this episode. Africa as well, but India. Um, that got cleaned up. Sinkiang is great. They're like the MVP of the AIs on the common term. Really, they are. Uh, looks like there's an attack going there by the AI. Um, I mean, we don't still, still don't have that much prep, but I'm going to instruct them to start their automatic attack. And I'm going to see if I can move in behind this cluster with these guys. Because we could get... As these guys run away, we can do some overruns, and that would be great. I could look to cut off a more significant part, but there seems to be a vulnerability there. All the divisions that are here are divisions that are retreating away, so they have no organization. And yeah, it looks like we're about to move in, and I think we'll get an overrun. Um, some of these guys are going to defend. There we go. I'm going to take half of this crew. So I'm going to let half go there. But I'm going to send the other half over here just in case... No, that doesn't turn into anything useful. Okay. Then I'm going to encourage you to continue to move that way then. Please and thank you. So that'll be helpful. That attack is not really working out there, but... This is good. It'll give us a good angle to take Kotobaru. And that should again solidify maybe a few um, resource options. Not a significant number of them. I don't suppose we can just go south. Oh, you're going to take that. Actually, that'll be quite nice. Because, again, we, we sort of create little pockets that we can focus on. So I guess we'll put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching another episode. I know things are slow, both in terms of the conquest that I am technically mustering, as well as actual, like, the game is running slowly. Oh, you have to go through there. Yeah, so if we can complete that move, that would actually be kind of handy-dandy. Um, let me just... Redraw. Encourage everyone to get around Calcutta and your offensive line is going to be to do that. We'll get in position and then we'll hit go. I don't know if I can do that this episode here. Probably. I mean, we won't have the, uh, the prep. Gotta wait for a bunch of guys to get there. Yeah, you know what? I'll wait for everyone to get there, and then we'll go and give it a push. I'm happy that this guy's holding the, this position here, because that's quite nice. And yeah, if you can continue his move and take that area, although it looks like it's going to get defended in a second, but still, we're going to have a lot of angles. Yeah, admittedly, um, you know, about three quarters of the angle we're going to attack from is going to involve a river crossing, but I think it's still going to be a win. Thanks for watching. See you next time.